Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10, Roman Child's Coffin. A mysterious coffin from over 1,600 years ago was just opened by scientists for the first time. It was part of an effort to learn more about life and death in ancient Britain when it was occupied by the Romans. The coffin is particularly fascinating because it was found to carry the body of a child. The coffin was made completely of lead, discovered buried in the middle of a field in Witherley. Before they opened the coffin, scientists used an endoscope to look inside. Unfortunately, they couldn't see much of anything because the coffin was filled with clay silt. Finally, they pried the lid off the coffin and looked at the remains of the child inside. While unable to immediately tell the gender, a pair of shale black bracelets makes experts think it was a young girl. For now, analysis is still ongoing to see who this child was and how they ended up in this mysterious grave in the 4th century AD. But in the meantime, Stuart Palmer with Archaeology Warwickshire took a public poll to name the girl. She is now called Oriens, as voted by over 1,800 people online. Number 9. The Hatshepsut Mummy Mystery Archaeologists have used a missing tooth to identify the mummy of the most legendary female leader and pharaoh in ancient Egyptian history. Cleopatra? Not her. Instead, it is Hatshepsut, the woman who reigned over all of Egypt 3,000 years ago. According to Zahi Hawass, the leading archaeologist in Egypt, the discovery of Hatshepsut's mummy is the most important discovery in Egyptology since the Valley of the Kings. He even called it one of the greatest adventures of his lifetime. But this should come as no surprise. Hatshepsut is one of the most famous Egyptian pharaohs ever. She ruled for 15 years and was the second woman to ever ascend to the throne. She was the daughter of Tutmosis I and married her brother Tutmosis II. And while that might strike you as odd, it was pretty standard procedure in a lot of ancient societies. When her husband slash brother died, she went on to rule in his place and remained on the throne. But here's the thing, ancient Egyptian men didn't really appreciate ladies in power like other ancient societies. After her death, her son, Tutmosis III, did all he could to remove every trace of her from history. That's what made it so difficult to discover her mummy. When Howard Carter opened her tomb in the Valley of the Kings back in 1902, he found her sarcophagus empty. No one could identify her body for the next 100 years. Finally, Mr. Hawass was able to connect Hatshepsut's mummy to the mummy found in a random tomb called KV-60. But even though he was able to properly identify the great pharaoh, we still can't figure out why she was buried in a totally random tomb rather than in her own. Number 8. Himera during the expansion of a railway line at the site of an ancient Greek city called Himera, workers stumbled upon something unfathomable. They found a mass graveyard with over 12,000 untouched bodies from both the archaic and classical periods. Many of these corpses were buried with special grave goods. Some may have even participated in an ancient battle fought between the Greeks and the Carthaginians in 480 BC. At the end of the battle, the Greeks came out the victors. They went on to erect the Temple of Victory in celebration, but then, in 409 BC, Carthage took their revenge. They attacked the city with extreme prejudice and burnt it to the ground. Archaeologists believe the massive graveyard they found probably contains thousands of bodies belonging to the men who fell during this battle. What's really bizarre is that they were arranged in long rows. 50 skeletons to a line. But archaeologists also found graves they can't identify. They found skeletons of newborns placed inside terracotta pots, bodies covered with sand, bodies put in wooden coffins, and dead men stuffed in stone sarcophagi. They found over 40 buried horses that may have been involved in the battle, as well as heaps of dead people that may have had nothing to do with the battle. It seems the graveyard was used extensively during the city's history, but only until the place was torn down by the Carthaginians. Number 7. An Ancient Henge An ancient ceremonial complex the size of Stonehenge was recently found in England on the North Downs. It, too, is a Neolithic henge, though the purpose of the site is currently shrouded in mystery. Archaeologists found piles of burned bones, scraps of pottery, and other evidence to suggest it was used for ritual ceremonies for over 2,000 years. It was built as far back as 2500 BC, or 4500 years ago. This was right at the end of the Stone Age. The way in which the ceremonial complex was found is pretty amazing. Paul Wilkinson of Kent Archaeological Field School found the first clue when looking at satellite images of the area. 
He saw a circular mark that didn't quite look like it belonged. He took his team of archaeologists to the site and began digging, and they discovered a henge over 150 feet wide. The enormous earthwork consists of a main circular area, an outer ditch, and entrances at the east and west. The size of the henge is preposterous. It would have taken a significant amount of time just for the Stone Age people to clear the land to make room for the enormous stones. Adding to the mystery is the fact that not a single sign of habitation has been found anywhere near the circle. Also, the burned remains of human bones have been found, suggesting cremations had taken place at the site. And because of its peculiar place in the hills, people standing in the henge would only have been able to see the sky. The landscape for miles would have been completely blocked from view. Wilkinson says it would have been like looking into a void of space. Because the discovery is so new and so little of it remains, archaeologists are struggling to figure out who built it and for what purpose. What do you think the henge was for? Religious rituals? Stargazing? Tell me your theories in the comments. Number 6. Secret Scythian Treasure Over 130 years ago, a Polish farmer made an astonishing discovery in a barren field outside the town of Witzaskowo. Completely by accident, he stumbled upon an extensive hoard of treasure, including dozens of gold ornaments dating back over 1,400 years. Apparently, despite evidence that the discovery was made at that time, all further knowledge of the treasure hoard was lost, and the location remained a mystery. That's not to say that people didn't look for it. Treasure hunters scoured the area all the way through World War II, but it wasn't until 2001 that investigators finally figured it out. When they uncovered the exact location, they beheld a treasure trove like nothing ever seen before. It was a hoard of artifacts left behind by the ancient Scythians. Pounds and pounds of mainly animal-themed artifacts crafted in gold. These artifacts included figures of panthers, lions, deer, fish, vultures, and other animals. Archaeologists identified golden discs that were once part of a breastplate, pendants, jewelry, and so much more. But the mystery has never been solved. While archaeologists believe it was left behind by the Scythians, they don't know why they would have abandoned such treasure in a field. Plus, no other signs of them have been found in the area. The treasure is a total anomaly. For those who don't know who the Scythians were, they were a nomadic race descended from Iranians who migrated from Central Asia into Russia and Eastern Europe. Their powerful empire spread all the way into what is now Crimea. They were known for their skills as horsemen and warriors. They were also famous for their ferocious female warriors. Many people believe the Scythians were actually the inspiration for the Amazonian warrior women of legend. Number 5. Carved for the Gods a waterlogged ditch in England yielded a rather unexpected discovery. During the construction of some road work back in July, workers found an old piece of wood. They first dismissed it as a piece of garbage. But when one of them took a closer look at it, they realized the wood had been carved into the shape of a human. It was a figurine, one of a man dressed in a tunic and wearing an unusual hat. Archaeologists believe it was the lack of oxygen in the trench that allowed the wooden figure to stay preserved for over 2,000 years. Its exact purpose and origin are unknown, though experts believe it may have been carved as an effigy of a god, perhaps some sort of religious offering. And this isn't a small figure. It stands 26 inches tall and is missing half its body. That means it was probably at least 4 feet tall when it was first made. The figure has been dated back to the first century, to a time when Rome ruled all of Britain. But other than that, nobody knows a single thing about it. Who do you think carved this mysterious giant figure and for what purpose? Let me know any theories you have in the comments below. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already for more videos about amazing discoveries. Number 4. Rare Bionic Armor in a Chinese burial, archaeologists have found a rare piece of bionic armor dating back 2,500 years ago. It's the second ancient armor of its kind ever found, so rare that archaeologists could hardly believe their eyes when they pulled it from the grave. The bionic armor is made of over 5,000 leather scales, crafted intricately in an overlapping design so they look like the scales of a fish. 
It looked kind of like a waistcoat. It could be thrown on quickly and without help, and was even one size fits all. And while it's obviously not bionic and that it was worn by a cyborg, researchers say it's one of the earliest examples of a technology that got its inspiration from nature. The scientific director involved in the study, Makey Wagner, says the fish scale design was probably extremely efficient for defending against all kinds of attacks. It would have easily deflected arrows, could have stopped the thrust of a sword, and would have dampened the powerful blow of an axe. The armor was made of approximately 5,444 small scales and 140 large scales. All of them were woven together with leather laces and lining. It really shows that even thousands of years ago, Chinese warriors were miles ahead of their counterparts in Europe. Number 3. Ancient Stone Board Game Researchers in Oman have discovered a mysterious stone board game created 4,000 years ago. The board is enormous with marked fields and cup holes. Researchers with the Polish Center of Mediterranean Archaeology made the amazing find near the small village of Einbani Saida. This was the same location where they found an ancient Bronze Age settlement with evidence of copper smelting. But it's really the board game that got all the attention. Researchers say these games were a huge part of cultural activities thousands of years ago, kind of like how video games are a huge part of modern culture today. But finding actual board games is rare, with very few examples having already been uncovered from India through Mesopotamia and all the way to the Eastern Mediterranean. Even though the researchers have the physical board in their hands, they still don't know how it worked. There were likely small pieces used, similar to chess or the tokens used in modern board games. However, what the purpose of the game was, what the rules were, or any notion of how to play it, remains lost to time. Number 2. Tombs of a Wealthy Chinese Clan The mysterious tombs of a wealthy clan have been discovered in central China after two years of extensive excavations. The cemetery in which the tombs were discovered is 3,000 years old, located at the archaeological site of Anyang in the Henan province. The clan, known only as Se, were active during the Shang dynasty. In total, archaeologists found over 18 building foundations, 24 tombs, 4 chariot pits used for burying horses, and dozens of remarkable relics. They found stone artifacts, jade treasures, and bronzeware items inscribed with the name of the clan. Sadly, the largest and most important tomb in the entire cemetery had been plundered and robbed. Almost nothing remained inside, with all of the artifacts coming from smaller tombs. Still, judging by all of the treasure that remained, even after grave robbers pillaged the area, archaeologists believe the clan must have been extremely wealthy. Very little is known about them, but they appear to have vanished around 1046 BC at the end of the Shang Dynasty and the beginning of the Bronze Age in China. The cemetery was used for many centuries, but was abandoned at the same time the clan disappeared. Number 1. Rare Viking Sword A very rare Viking sword was discovered inside a grave on a small Scottish island. The Viking sword was left behind sometime in the 9th century, buried on one of the Orkney Islands. Even more mysterious is that the sword was taken from a hidden cemetery tucked away on the northeast coast. Andrew Morrison of AOC Archaeology says it's one of the most exciting artifacts he's ever seen and probably has many ancient stories to tell. But we don't know these stories just yet. Scientists were able to identify it as a Type D sword, which was the heaviest weapon used by the Vikings. Imagine a great big claymore that requires massive strength just to wield. That's how big this monster weapon was. It needed a huge hilt to stabilize it. In all of Europe, only about 30 of these swords still survive. Half were recovered in Norway, a few were found in Ireland, and the rest were discovered throughout Poland and Russia. This is the first time that one has been found so far away in Scotland. The real mystery is trying to figure out who wielded the sword over 1,000 years ago. It was discovered lying on the chest of a corpse, a Viking warrior who must have been an absolute beast to use such a heavy sword in battle. He was likely part of a team of explorers or adventurers who wandered to the furthest reaches of Scotland and tried to settle on the outer islands. Thanks for watching! Which of these mysterious archaeological discoveries fascinated you the most? Let me know in the comments below, and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already! See you soon! Bye!